I'm the Big Easy Chef. I'd like to show you how to make taco meat using ground beef. Now can you just picture some of that uh, taco meat that's been made with the uh, ground beef? You did good. That's the exact taco meat I'm thinking about and that's what we're going to be making today. Now this goes great in so many different things. It's great in tacos of course, uh, burritos, a tamale pie, chili, the list just goes on. It's pretty easy to make. Once you make this and taste it, it'll be the only kind of taco meat that you really want. So why don't you and I run over into that kitchen, see what's shaking, and get to bacon. The first step in making this taco meat, start with three Pasilla chili pods. Now you want to de-seed these chili pods these pods are a little drier than the most of the ones I've used in the past, but they'll work just fine. Now de-seed four Jalio chili pods. The important thing to remember is that we just want the flavor, oil, and color from these chili pods. We want to keep our meat filling flavorful and not hot. You can always add heat to something once it's cooked such as adding hot sauce. Keeping food full of flavor makes it perfect for everyone's taste. You may wonder why I'm wearing these gloves. These gloves will keep the oil from the chilies off of my hands. This oil can burn tender parts of your body. So if you don't want heat on any tender parts of your body, such as your eyes, wear gloves, or wash your hands after dealing with these chilies. Place the de-seeded pods in a saucepan and add two cups of cool water. Now heat the chili pods on medium-high heat. Once they start boiling, reduce the heat down to a medium-low and simmer covered for 10 minutes. Then turn off the heat and allow the peppers to steep for at least one hour. Dice up one half of a small sweet onion. You want to dice it into small pieces. Now set this onion aside. Moving to the meat, you're going to use two pounds of ground beef for the filling. I use ground chuck. Before we get started on cooking the ground chuck, I would like to tell you that I have my butcher grind up my chuck from a nice boneless chuck roast, just like the one you see here. I like knowing what goes into my ground chuck. I like being able to see what it looked like before it went into the grinder. Well enough on that. Start with two pounds of your favorite ground beef. Place in a cold skillet. Turn the heat onto medium high. Start breaking up the meat. You want it to be in small chunks, so it'll be like that mystery meat you find in the fast food tacos. While the meat is browning, add your onion. Now for the mystery spices that go into the taco meat. Add one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of ground oregano, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of ground black pepper. Keep a close eye on your beef and break it up and stir it often. Okay, now that the beef is browned, you can drain off some of the fat in the pan. Oh, here's the steam. I hope you can see my draining of the fat. You're going to add in one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Allow this to simmer, stir often. Now that your peppers have steeped, you need to grind them up. Place them in a blender. Now this is a good tip. When you're placing hot or warm stuff in the blender, Cover the top of the blender with a towel. This will prevent the hot stuff from shooting out of the blender and getting all over you and making a huge mess. Blend the peppers until they are finely ground. This should take about 30 seconds to one minute. Add your ground peppers to the taco meat. You don't want to just dump them in. Strain them through a strainer. And remember, we just want the color flavor, and oil from the peppers. We don't need the skin. 
You can see this taco meat is taking on a nice color and it needs to cook down. You want this meat to be nice and thick. The longer it cooks, the better it'll be. So, there you have it. Now you know how to make taco meat using ground beef. And it comes out and it tastes great. So why don't you try and make some soon? Remember what they say, you are what you eat, so eat healthy. Until next time, I'm the Big Easy Chef.